Hey everyone, I just, I feel so led to just get on here, so um, I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to just let Holy Spirit just take over. I surrender to you, Father. I ask that you come and that you speak through me, that you speak what it is that you want to get out, and I just honor you. I praise you. I thank you. You are faithful. I thank you for never leaving us, for never forsaking us. I thank you for being such a faithful God. I thank you, Father, that no one can compare to you. I thank you that you are holy, that you are righteous, that you are just in all of your ways. I thank you, Father, that when everyone else switches up, you stay the same. I thank you when everyone else leaves, it, leaves you stay here with us. I thank you for restoring us, for protecting us, even when we don't see the protection, even when we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, Father. I just thank you for for your faithfulness to us. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for forgiveness, Father. And we repent for every sin that we have committed knowingly, unknowingly, spiritually, physically, Father God. And we just come, we come to honor you, to worship you, to exalt you, Father, for there is no one like you. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Elohim. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are our everything, Father. And we just serve you. We worship you. We honor you with everything in our bodies. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And we just glorify you, Father. I just thank you for everything that you have done. I thank you for all the blessings. I thank you for the forgiveness. I thank you for every time I throw a tantrum that you forgive me and you still stay right there. I thank you for every time, Father God, that you have given me what I like to call a whooping. I thank you for the times that you put fear in me, loving fear. I thank you for every time that you convict me, Father, when I do something that's not pleasing to you. I thank you for every time that you give me a revelation when I don't understand. I thank you for your wisdom. I thank you for revelation. I thank you for provision. I thank you for every time a bill was paid and I didn't know where it was going to come from. I knew you was going to take care of it, but I didn't know how. I thank you for all those times that you have come through when I didn't even see a way of it being possible, but I know that you are the God of the impossible. I know that nothing is impossible for you. I know that you are the God of the possible. Sorry, the God of the impossible. Nothing is too big, too small for you. I just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I don't know where we about to go, but I am ready, willing to go wherever it is that you are leading me holy spirit you have your way um guys romans 8 28 is what i have put up on my phone right now and it says we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose y'all sometimes we don't we don't see the blessing in a in a situation until so after the fact, sometimes we don't see the blessing in in the chaos. We don't see the blessing and what we we see as a disruption or what we see as a um or as what we see as opposition. Sometimes we don't see the blessing in that, right? And so after the fact. And I just wanna say, um the opposition, we know right now the body of Christ has been getting attacked, okay? Um, and we know why, because we're on the verge of a lot of breakthroughs. A lot of things is happening right now in the spiritual realm that physically we cannot see, okay? We can discern spiritually, but we cannot physically see the manifestations of what's going on. But there is a whole lot that is going on. And the thing is, the thing is, anything that the enemy throws at us, God is going to take it and use it for our good. And we, we're not going to be able to see it until after it has happened, until it's done. That's when we're going to recognize it and just trust the process. A lot of us, we are, we're, we're in labor right now. You get what I'm saying? We're in labor. The baby head is crowning. That's why the opposition has been so strong. That's why... Um. Even for me, I was wondering, I was like, dad, I really haven't been hearing from you. And I, and I have been hearing from him, just not um, particularly on some of the things I wanted to hear from him on and not in the way that I wanted to hear from him. But he's been speaking. Right. But then and even as I, I'm speaking, I'm getting revelations because when you're 
when you're okay so I know a lot of men aren't going to be able to um understand this and and some women who haven't yet um given birth but when you're you're pushing um when you're you're in a delivery room you have to be focused on what they tell you to focus on your breathing. You don't have time to sit and to conversate. You don't have time to, you know, keep asking questions. You, they want you to just listen. This is what's going on right now. This is priority. I need you to focus on breathing because there's a task at hand. And that's birthing this baby into the world, right? And that lately has been like speaking and giving me confirmation on birthing birthing and even today he like placed in my spirit crowning crowning so and we know crowning is is when the head is is crowning I don't want to give you guys visuals if you're a woman that has had children you know you know so but the baby is crowning and that's like the most painful part right which is what's going on right now is it's very painful it's a lot of oppositions a lot going on and we're just wondering like okay why aren't you speaking uh god like where are you what's going on i feel like i'm in this battle by myself i feel like i'm being attacked like what is going on no 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 god has already given you the keys and the tools that you need a lot of people don't understand that even through the opposition your praise is the key for that breakthrough your praise is your is your is a part of your breakthrough that's your key use it because no matter what it looks like thank god thank god thank god thank god because god is bigger than anything that you are going through god is bigger than anything that you are facing god is bigger than anything that the enemy can throw at you he is bigger so it does not matter so praise him no matter what's going on i'm telling you once you start praising him Once you start praising him, because your your praise is your is is a part of your faith and you trust in him. I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't even know why I'm so emotional. Sorry, Jesus. I just love him so much, but our praise, it unlocks doors to things. You have that's your key. That's your key. So no matter what it looks like, no matter what you're going through, I'm telling you, start because that is going to confuse the enemy. He going to be like, I just did this to her, through this to her, through this to her, through this to her. And she's praising God. He hates that. He hates that. But I tell you what, God loves it. Okay, so we do what God loves. We do what God loves. So, you guys, I know that the body of Christ has been getting um, attacked recently. I know that there's been a... Uh, a lot of distractions going on, a lot of confusion, uh, even some silence for uh, for some people. But I come on here right now when I just feel so led to come on here. I don't know who this is for, who's going to hear this. Um, sometimes I don't like getting on here and feeling all vulnerable and emotional, you guys. So bear with me. But I just felt so led to get on here because is strategic. God is so strategic. He is so strategic. If you don't know that by now, whew, I pray that he reveals it to you. God is so strategic, so strategic. Everything that he does is strategic. Like it's almost like God is always playing. I, I don't know. Sometimes I talk to dad and I'm like, dad, this is almost kind of like a chess game. Like it's because God is so strategic with every move he makes and you cannot see it. And sometimes you think that you're going crazy or sometimes we think sometimes we listen y'all it's some distractions and it's some things going on i need you guys to make sure that you're being very vigilant and that you guys are being very a sober mind very vigilant to the enemy's devices okay because he is oh he is working ot okay he always working but he's definitely putting in some overtime work okay so this is what i want you guys to understand don't look at a situation if you're going through something i need you guys to step back and ask god to give you spiritual eyes to recognize what's going on because i'm telling you what the enemy is trying to do he's going to make it, it it's going to look like an attack from the enemy but really it's a strategic setup from god it's strategic it's so strategic because whatever the enemy tries to do god is going to turn it around for your good for our good Okay, so whatever the enemy tries to throw at you, I'm telling you, praise God through the the circumstance, 
praise him in that situation no matter what praise him and honor him and i'm telling you all it's gonna be it's just liberating just knowing how he turns everything around and how you can see see his hand in things from the very beginning from the very beginning dad just did something um, and if you guys haven't been on this channel guys i'm sorry i call i call yahweh dad okay that's just that's my father that's my daddy i love him that's just us right um that's our personal relationship so when i say dad i'm referring to yahweh i'm re referring to the most high so but dad was um so something happened you guys tonight um and it wasn't a good thing but when I say dad just gave me revelation, because I was like, you know what, dad? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I, see, I don't do that. I don't sit up here and I do not complain to dad about my problems most of the time. It's it's, it's a, I, I'm a work in, pro <laughs> in progress. So, but most of the time, and I have to remind myself, no, my God is bigger than any problem that I'm facing. Whatever I'm going through, my God is bigger. So, I'll sit up and say that I don't listen that I know I'm being attacked because my blessings is here. I know the warfare is intense because in the spiritual realm, I must be doing something, something that is causing the enemy to come after me like crazy. Like it's to me, I don't look at spiritual warfare as a bad thing. I look at it as a good thing. That means I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing in the spiritual realm. That means I'm praying for who I need to be praying for. That means I'm bringing down, tearing down strongholds. That means I am ministering to the right people. That means I'm being obedient. That means I am doing what it is that the Lord is calling me to do and the devil is mad. So I don't look at spiritual warfare as it's a bad thing. I look at it as, oh, okay, you mad. So you trying to go hard. Okay, let me praise God some more. Let me praise him even harder. That's why I be like saying, I don't even know why you came over here bothering me. Like, I don't know why you came over here bothering you. You already know what I'm on. You come over here bothering me. I'm about to praise my father even more. Let me turn on some worship music. Let me start praying. Let me go on the fast. Let me let me pray for this person a little harder. So, cause you can't you can't bully me. You cannot bully me. I'm gonna show you how much of a bully I can be in the spiritual realm. So, don't allow the circumstances to um, make you. You get what I'm saying? Buckle down and not want to do anything. No, 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 no. This is when we're supposed to be praising and thanking Dad. A situation happened, and I was like, Dad, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I just know that it's something great is about to happen. It has to be. I refuse to not believe that breakthrough is here, that this promise is manifesting, that you coming through with this, that a blessing is about to manifest, that this is happening, that this door is being opened. I refuse to believe that I'm not being delivered from something, that I'm not being set free in some area of my life. I refuse to believe that that's not what's happening because the warfare is just, it's always, it's something right after another. Uh, -uh. I know what this means, right? I've, I've been in this and I've been in this too long. I know what that means, right? So in the midst of me talking to dad and just praising him and just thanking him, even for the situation, he allowed me to see and he gave me revelation of how his hand was in this very thing and he kept me and protected me. And I'm sorry, y'all. And Jesus, I just thank you because only you can love me the way that you do. Only you can love me the way that you do, that you still protect me. And, and guys, let me tell y'all, I was so upset earlier that something did not happen. I wanted something to happen. I wanted to, I needed to go somewhere and I wasn't able to go to that place. You know, and I told my son, I said, Hey, get me up at this time. Cause I need to go to this place. And he didn't, and he didn't. I woke up like 10 minutes late. It was too late. Like I couldn't go to this place. And I was so like hurt. Cause I felt like I really, really needed to go there. I was so upset y'all. And 
dad revealed to me he showed me this is why you didn't go to that place because had you have gone to that place had you have done what it was that you wanted to do when this happened it would have affected you it and it would have it would have affected you it would have affected you so he showed me how he still had his hand and everything and how he was protecting me and (sighs) y'all I, I, yeah, so that's 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 what it is tonight, you guys. Trust God even when you don't understand what's going on, even when it looks like everything is coming against you because God will not fail us. God will not leave us. He will not forsake us, okay? And everything, what the, what the enemy meant for evil and harm, God will turn it around for good, okay? Because we know that all things, God will work. For the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Okay, so he's not going to let, and he tells us, weapons form, but they shall not, cannot, will not prosper. Okay? So then he will try something, and whatever that the thief steals, he has to return because he is caught. I need you guys to start telling the enemy that he's, even if you don't even know what he stole, he stole something. Okay? Because that's just in his character. That's just him. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So even if you don't even know what it was that he stole, he stole something from you. And whatever it was that he stole, he has to return to you minimum sevenfold. And I don't even know. I don't even say minimum sevenfold. Listen, although you must return to me minimum sevenfold, I want a hundredfold. I want even the things that other people don't even know that you have taken from them that they they won't even claim. You're going to return to me a hundredfold because you shouldn't have came over here messing with nothing, putting your hands on nothing that do not belong to you. So you will return it to me a hundredfold because I caught you. You are caught. So guys, start using your authority, decreeing and declaring. And I won't lie. I even been kind of like a little lazy on that end as well. But now that the enemy has shown his hand again, I have to. Now I'm just even more ready for battle. So. You guys, the enemy is throwing out distractions. He is bringing so much opposition. Um, And the thing is, God has given us the keys. So when you think that he's silent, he's watching you because he wants to know that you will use your keys, which is the, the authority that he has given you because he has given humans dominion here on earth. So your authority in Jesus Christ, he wants to know that you're going to use that. And that's what's going to elevate us to that next level. Okay. So we can get off this level and we can be elevated. Okay. So we could probably breathe <laughs> for, for 10 minutes. So guys, that's, that's the thing. Okay. I know that the body of Christ is being attacked right now. Jesus wants you to know, to praise him. Praise him through the situation and the circumstance. Okay. Your breakthrough is right on the other side of the praise. Okay, knowing that greater is he that is in we than he that is in the earth. Okay, and no matter what the enemy has taken, he must return it minimum sevenfold. Okay, but we ask him for a hundredfold. Okay, and not only even that, you guys, knowing that right now is the time that a lot of us were were crowning. Okay, we're in labor. We're in labor now. It's getting real, real intense. This is it's. It's very, very painful right now. You know, it's very, very intense. A lot of people want to throw in a towel. And of course, when you're, when you're, listen, when you've been laboring for a long time, you're exhausted. You're weak. You're tired. You do be ready to, you be like, whoo, I can't. The doctor be like, one last push, a big push. And you, you, you have to muster up that energy for that one last big push. But after that, baby, it's, it's, you're holding your baby, okay? You're holding your promise. You're holding the breakthrough, okay? So that's where we are right now. That's where we are, okay? So our praise is is the pushes. Our praise is those pushes to to birth this, this baby, okay? So you guys, that is the word. I'm sorry for, oh my goodness, I probably sounded so crazy and emotional, you guys. Um, I love you all. Test the spirit behind us. Take this back to the Lord. I um, do believe that we are crowning right now. Okay, so push that that baby out, um, and that's that's birth. Okay, can't nobody push this this baby but you. Okay, so use your authority. Start praising God. 
even through the pain, he has us. Okay. I love you all. Um, take this back with, to the Lord and I will talk to you guys later.